seven Y squared. This time of the school year, um, we are running out of substitutes. Currently, long-term substitutes can only be employed 90 days out of the school year. But things are changing as the governor signed House Bill 1050, bumping that number up to 135 or 145 for those with a bachelor's degree. Well, getting people to potentially maybe come back into the classroom, people who have uh, classroom experience, um, or people who have a bachelor's degree that maybe are potentially interested in education, getting them in the building and seeing what it's all about, that's gonna be good for us. In the wake of a substitute shortage in a busy spring season, some teachers tell us they're afraid to call in at all. There are days when I am quite sick, but having to do sub plans and get activities together, and plan an entire day, write out procedures and everything. Sometimes it's easier just to come in and just teach not feeling so great. The lack of subs becomes a bigger challenge as class sizes grow. When you end up having to combine classes, usually those plans kind of go out the window for that day. You know, plans with 25 kids looks a lot different when you have 35 or 40 in a room. The bill passes in the wake of legislators working to determine an education budget. Teachers say they'll continue to advocate for resources in the weeks ahead. And ideally, we need to hire more teachers so that our class sizes aren't so big. And so when we are having to combine classes, there aren't as many students. For TPS, they tell us the substitute pool has dropped from 800 to fewer than 400 over the last four years. Reporting in Tulsa, Megan Allison, Two Works For You.